So we are now in the third topic of today. We are going to assign R and S. Okay. We'll do one fundamental one. We'll do one fundamental, and then we'll we'll do some of the common mistakes. Okay. The fundamental one would be whenever you are you want to assign R and S, you are very likely to be, okay, okay, having a carbon with four different group with four different group. Okay, it needs to be four different. Okay, uh, if like, we're doing this, it's just like A, B, C, D. Okay, one thing you do want to do is rank, okay, okay, rank priority. Okay, you are going to find the highest priority of your, your substituents, okay? You want to you want to list, sort your priority with A. So just list them in the place where it doesn't matter how ABC works, but we want the D, the smallest, the smallest priority um, in the back. In the back means uh, it's dashed, okay? And overally, with your ranking of priority, Okay, A, B, and C, okay? A, B, and C. Uh, it's not very obvious that way, though, okay? Okay, this way. It's clockwise, right? Okay, if it's clockwise, it's R. If counterclockwise, it's S. So this one would be R. Okay? Uh, a common thing, well, you are not likely, you are not likely always have your lowest priority group in the back, which means you are likely to have something like this, okay? A, B, C, okay, S dash C, okay? And wedge D. Okay, if you have this confirmation, okay, you can still assign this. It's clockwise. It look R, but because your lowest priority is wedged out, so look R, but is S. It's just like instead of flip the whole compound, whole compound, you flip the how you count this. Are we cool with that? Okay, common mistake, or where I think R and S, usually people get wrong with, is not, so for practicing with clockwise or anti-clockwise, people usually can get that point. But you, where is most, are we good to erase this like so far? Okay, well most people will get, um, get start or like people think that the hardest part is um, sorting this out, which I don't think it's. The hardest part is people don't really, okay. Uh, okay, let me think about this. Okay. Okay, the hardest part, the hardest part of assigning, oh, of course this is a stereo center, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the hardest part that people have problem with assigning RNS is actually when they're trying to rank the priority, they did not go one by one. So that's the most common, like, uh, mistakes. So I, I do know, so rank a priority, you first go by atomic, ma atomic number. Okay, which oxygen do you have a higher atomic number? And a lot of people will start to label this one as number one. So people are going to label this bond as number one mm -hmm. or A because they see there's an oxygen. But that's the wrong way of doing this. It's not the correct way. Uh, for what? Okay. This oxygen is very far away from your stereo center. It, the oxygen do you have a higher atomic number, but you should always start, 
okay? This is, this is the carbon, right? This is the carbon. You should always compare to the neighbor first, okay? Okay, let's, let's have this carbon, okay? This, um, I'll use with it green, okay? And then we'll, we'll, we will compare this by, uh, do I have a full color? I, I think I do. Orange, red, yes, I do. Okay, let's deal with four different colors. We come, it needs to be a fair game. Okay, so this is the carbon, the green carbon. Okay, now I have blue, which will be this line, okay? I have purple, will be this line. And I have my red. Can I just fill in the red, okay? Yay. And my orange. Okay, we're going to compare side by side. Okay. What your, what's, you, what's bonded to your green carbon? You are bonded to a orange carbon, right? This carbon with um, each of them CH3, 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 right? This is, this is the orange line. Like this is the CH3, CH3, CH3. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Your red line, C, with one CH3, CH3, and a hydrogen, right? That's the CH3, and there's a hydrogen that didn't draw out, right? Mm. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, blue, you are bond with blue with there are two hydrogen, right? Uh, CH two OH uh, something else, okay? Right? Okay. And your purple C one two uh, CH two. Okay, CH2, hydrogen, hydrogen. Are we cool with listing out what they have, right? Okay. So when you are sorting priority, you sort by atomic number. And it, okay, a very important thing, you have to go along with the chain. What do we mean by go along with the chain? You need to compare your neighbor first. Okay, they are all carbon. So in this first round, nobody wins because they're all carbon. Okay, in second round, you have carbon bonded to three, carbon bonded to two, carbon bonded to one and one. This one already wins. So this is the priority. The priority. Even I have OH somewhere else, very far away. You, we, our game hasn't really reached to this round yet. Are we cool with what we're talking about? Yeah. Okay, so our purple win, our red is because it's bound to two, so in this round, CCC, win CCH, win CHH. Are we cool with what we're talking about? Okay, this second, okay, number three. Okay, why um, this blue is number three? Because it do win purple on this OH. So that is when your OH win. CH2, that's the very end. Are we good? So this is number four. So this would be, I also see um, most time people get wrong with RNS, it's because they see, oh, there's the OH, okay, this is going to be number one. That's, okay, hi. <laughs> okay, that's, that's where people get, get wrong with, okay? Okay, now assign RNS. Mm. Mm? Mm. Mm? So, but four is, four is like not, wait, not 
Yeah. Okay, so I'll teach. So I'll teach you the next trick. Your best model, because you're not uh, allowed to use model in your exam, right? Mm -hmm. Your best model is your hand. So you you are going to do this a lot in the exam. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Um, your finger. Okay. This is one bond. This is another bond. This is another bond. This is another bond. Your finger, your hand is very similar to a tetrahedral already, right? So what 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 we have here? Okay, you have okay this one, this um okay we will have the thumb pointing up, okay like this, okay, and how about I change a finger? I change a hand. You have both hands. One of the hand is going to work, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll do this way. Okay, that's that's easier because now my arm is pointing up, um, okay. And then my orange is pointing into the paper. It's like this. Like, like this is the orange. Yeah, this is the orange. OK. This is the orange. My arm is the red one. OK. And then I have, um, OK, uh, that's a little bit weird. So I'll find a good one. OK. Uh, but can you somehow see what I'm yeah. doing? Yeah. Did, did, you, did you see the point? Yeah. Like a, this is uh, pointing. Like 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 this. Okay. Uh, Look at your wrist. Uh, try your try your wrist. Okay. But but what I meant by okay, what I meant by okay, if you have the model like this, okay. yeah. Mm, I'll find a good way. It's so weird. <laughs> I know. It's 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 kind of like okay. This is on the same page, right? Okay. Uh, one of your bond is pointing up, and my arm is pointing into the paper. This is on the same page. Will you be able to see this though? Yeah. Okay. So wh what I meant by showing this is if you can rotate. So previously this was in the plane of the paper. If you rotate your hand, you can you can have these two in the plane of the paper and have your thumb go up. Previously your thumb is in the, in the plane of the paper, which is one of the solid line. By doing this, okay. You can, okay, now three and four is in the plane of the paper. I want number four to be either uh, in to the front or either to the back. Then you can rotate your arm. Did you see what I meant? So we only use this when your, your lowest priority group is not pointing up or not pointing down by simply flip it. Did you see the point? Okay. Uh, or if you're good in imagination, um, you can see this like a, this 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 per, this um, this orange is pointing in, this uh, red is pointing out. So it's like a, kind of like a one, two, three. That would also work. So it's a uh, clockwise. It's an R. Are we good? Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Play with. So either okay, you can do either do the flip that I'm doing. Or you can you can imagine that you're looking from the plane, like from my side, where your four is in the back. Okay, your number one. Okay, now that's your number one is pointing into the paper. Your uh, red is pointing out. Your blue is pointing here, and you have the purple pointing back. Okay, and I have my um, number one highest. Okay, in so. Like, like, like that's the same as your hand, where you just view like this. Did you see that? Like, OK, then one, two, three, that's clockwise. It's R. I know it's clear with a pen, but it, you, are, you, you can bring a handful of a pen, but it's be better just to use your hand so you can flip it. Yeah, I, I see a lot of students. How do you slice this and break this? Either, either way. The things you want to fix with your hand now mm -hmm. is because your three and four is in the plane of paper. Yeah. You can either do it this way or do it this way. As long as it's there not in the plane of the paper, then you're good, right? It's just not in the plane of paper. Okay, so this is a three and a four. Yeah. If I flip them out, my four is pointing up. Yeah. Become a wedge. Mm -hmm. yeah, then, wedge. Okay, then if I do the rotation, I need to uh, flip my R and S because my lowest priority group is pointing. It's not not pointing. Um, it's not in the far away from you. <laughs> so 
Oh, let me let me let me host the video.